Good morning, everyone. Today, I just want to take you through a quick rundown about how we do our project management whenever we're working on projects. And this doesn't matter whether it is our main product, side product, side hustle, whatever it is, we are always using a project manager because it's the only way we keep things straight. Now, what I want to show you is, first of all, this is the simple dashboard, right? You have the updated tasks within the last 24 hours, and that's in this area, approved within the last 24 hours. You've got the pending approval and the unapproved. And the unapproved are tasks that someone said, hey, this is done, and someone else came along and said, well, mm, not really. It's done, but not done the way we want it done. All right, now off to the right, you see we've got different projects. We have our documentation project. We just use it as a repository of documentation. We've got a Soccer Pro product v4 and then a v5 and then tutorials tutorials is just where we make the tutorials and store them again a project manager can be used for active things and it can also be used for hey uh, where is this stuff you know more or less like a storage repository database whatever you want to call it so this main dashboard covers all the projects if you have 10 15 projects going sometimes you need the universal dashboard of What's going on with all my projects? And you'll see here, it shows Soccer Pro Product V4. If we were working on multiple projects, it would have all these things listed as updated within this project, updated within that project. But we're only working on one project in this case. So you only see one project listed. But this is the universal. And then this, this is our home. Okay, and this is just showing a specific project. All right. Now, the other thing that's real important is how you manage a lot of tasks. So if you look in this particular project, we have 36 tasks. Well, you can't do 36 tasks at once. So we sort them into task lists just to keep them organized. Again, these are like folders. You can create them, name them, sort them any way you want. All right. It's just like folders in your uh, desktop. And then you can have different views. You can either keep them collapsed and look at one task list at a time. Or if you want to get a view at all of them, you can do that as well. So we'll just go uh, quick view. If I just want to see, you know, a couple things. Or if I want to see the standard view, now I can look at the status graphically. All right. And then you see that some of these are already at the end. Okay. Graphically, you can just glance down and see, well, this one's 75% done. This is 100% done, it's just waiting for approval. So now if I want to click on it, I can click on this task, I can look at what it is we were doing to improve this particular function and either approve it or not approve it based on my opinion of whether this task is done the way that we wanted it done. Now the other thing we do, that's and this is really important because whenever you have a project, you, again, you can't work on 36 tasks at once, so how do you manage that? Well, you want to put your tasks in as soon as you think about them. When you run into something, if we run into something, let's say a typo or a new feature or a, a problem with the system, we want to put that into the project manager right away. But we also don't want to have our programming team bouncing around from one thing to another, getting something halfway done and then bouncing them over to something else. So what we do is we organize it into a sprint. And what we do is keep this at a weekly type of activity. So now I can take my 36 tasks and I can break them down into, in this case, six tasks and say, this is what we're going to do this week. Of course, I can expand it. I can see what's already done. What in this case, this one is started. This one is 75% eh, done. These are done. So now I can take my main project. I can break it down into the weekly sprints. And now we can keep everything on track, keep everything organized, keep everyone focused on the main priorities and not overwhelm them with 36 or 50 or 100 different tasks. That just isn't realistically going to get done this week. So this is a really easy to use project manager. We use it all the time for every single thing we do and it makes our lives so much easier. If you're not using a project manager as easy as this one, you should and it's included. So why not? All right, I got to get back to work. I just wanted to show you a little bit more insight as to how we operate using the software so that you can maybe get some tips from it and maybe you can copy some of the things we do to help you sell more faster. Thanks, bye now.